Hey, and welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. I just looked up and read off a monitor that says the name of our podcast. <laughs> yeah. Did you forget? I'm aware that I just said, hey, and welcome to, and I looked up and read it off the monitor. <laughs> we should put something That's up there that scary. we won't read. Like, yeah. Welcome to Matt and Sona get a raise. Yeah, it's yeah. like an anchorman where he'll, he'll read whatever. He reads whatever. And he, what does he say? Fuck you, Fuck San, you, San Diego. San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, no, I think it's go fuck yourself, yeah, San Diego. Yeah, go fuck yourself, I just San don't want to misquote Anchorman. Uh, anyway, yeah. I just, I don't know why I did that. I looked up, I know that this is called Conan O'Brien Needs a <laughs> Friend. You? But I looked up, and I do, okay. I really do. Just don't take that monitor away. <laughs> <laughs> That's how relaxed I am. Mm. Let's look at it that way. Yeah. That's how relaxed cool. and in the moment. And Sona, you'll attest, I don't, I'm not a relaxed person most of the time. You're not. Why? I just, t just stop. What do you mean? <laughs> stop what? <laughs> stop do it. Stop doing that. I, just, be, just chill. Just relax. I, if just I do could, it. I would. Yeah. You know that. But you know, you've really worked on yourself a lot. You're a very different person than when I first started working for you. I will say that. You, I've seen this is growth, what eleven or twelve years ago. Thirteen. Wow. Oh. Third's 2009. Okay, that's right. That's right. Working for you. And what was the difference? What was I like then? I think you were wound up really tight. It was also when you were about to move to Los Angeles. There was a lot going on, and you yeah. were very, like, you know, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I, I, don't, I have no idea. I don't think I walked around going, oh, no, I'm so no, nervous. No, no, you weren't. But you could tell there was, like, just this weight on you, and you were, like, you know, there was a lot going on. And now you seem a lot more. You seem I'm happier. A lot more I'm a lot happier than I was. That's nice. Yeah. I mean, we've been lucky that uh, I think that the TBS show was so much fun to do yeah. and really kind of a joyous experience, and, and those were great people to work with. And then this thing has been I mean, just tripping. My wife, she has a relative who, if something good happens to you, they say, well, you landed your ass in butter. Oh, which is like, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, you landed your ass in butter, but that's how it feels <laughs> getting to do this podcast is it's uh, you landed so your ass in butter. I landed I just want all the people listening to picture my bony pale Irish ass yeah. that ain't getting any younger um oh. being dipped into sort of liquid younger. I'm going to say melting butter it's very soft mushy butter like is it opaque or is it kind of transparent like movie theater popcorn it's butter? sort of starting to get translucent around the edges oh god and it's also very hot so as I'm being lowered into it my I start screaming <laughs> Because it's burning my ass. That doesn't well, sound congratulations. good. Congratulations, you did this So thing. I want to say, I really did. <laughs> That's not good. With this podcast, I landed my ass, in my bare ass, in scalding hot butter. You oh. did it literally? You heard that expression and you just tried it literally. Yeah, I did. I thought, that must be great. So I had myself, I had a winch put in the kitchen. <laughs> And I had myself lowered. What is a, I'm sorry, what's a winch? A winch. I had, yeah. you tell, it's like a pulley a, system. Uh, like on the front of a Jeep, if you want to pull a Jeep out of a mud, you, it's like a cable that will, that, with that a motor. That can unspool, has a oh. motor. And so I had myself, I bought, I actually stole it off, the, off of a Jeep that yeah. I saw in a parking lot. Yeah. And I had it attached <laughs> uh, to the ceiling in my kitchen, and I had myself lowered in, into this vat of... Butter. I the guy nude. in the parking lot was like, where are you going with that winch? <laughs> said, you're not going to dip your, dip, dip your ass in butter, are you? <laughs> and I said, uh, I don't, no, I wouldn't do that. Well, right. don't do it. If you do, make sure it's room temperature butter. <laughs> Anywho, Anywho, I'm saying. You put your ass in butter. I'll get us back on track, which is, and I'm sure there'll be some edits here. Um, <laughs> be no, really I do, great I do feel you that, got it. that we were very fortunate. <laughs> I was very fortunate to to. Uh, land this silly gig. It's yeah. really fun, and uh, you know I'm, I'm enjoying myself. So I think I'm a happier chappy yeah. than I was 13 years ago. Good. Yeah. Um, and also, I don't see you like every day, Sona. You know what I mean? You've got your kids and stuff. We so. see each other a lot. <laughs> it doesn't feel that way. It doesn't. No. No, I think we we do. I used to see you constantly. I would see yeah. you all day long, and then if I was doing a show at night, you'd come on that. If I if I toured, you came on the tour. Yeah. You were omnipresent in my life right. all the time now it feels like yeah I see you when we do this and uh, I see you here and there that's true but you, you do seem happier much. Sona I am so much happier I don't yeah. know what happened for the last 11 months <clears throat> okay, I'm just kidding I'm kidding all come right. on I we're keyed, I keyed. to the end we're <sighs> friends forever yeah mm -hmm. alright let's get on with this yeah, it smells like ass butter in here bad ass butter Jesus I'm literally try it folks Dip your ass in very hot butter. <laughs> Take it from me. It's the most sensual experience you'll ever have. What if today's guest was like Malala? Or 
and and right now you just look out and you see that they're walking away. I've always wanted to have a really stupid segment up front and then look over and see through the window that the guest is gone. And I'd be like, wait a minute, who was it? It was, uh, you know, civil rights activist, like a really yeah. serious, good person doing good work. And they just heard me dipping my ass in butter. And they're like, I'm going to go. You've done it in the past when we've had like Hillary Clinton or, yeah. you know, Barack Obama. You're like, guys, we have to keep this intro very professional. And then it always, always devolves. Yeah. devolves. Obama tried to leave. Remember? Yeah. Yeah, he tried to go, and the door he couldn't get the door no, open. We don't remember because we weren't invited. We weren't. To that we interview. weren't at that. Yeah. Point. Oh right, yeah. right. They, yeah. The Secret Service looked into your background, <laughs> <laughs> but they somehow approved ass butter guy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> trust me, Sona, you actually have a rap sheet. So I don't. I do not. No, I don't. That's why I've gotten away with so much. Because I, I don't. No one's ever. Thief. Yes, yes, pick I pocket. know. Every, no, I'm not a pickpocket. That would Sticky be, fingers. That would be really cool if I okay. knew that skill. You stole a scrunchie, right? What? Didn't you steal a scrunchie? Oh, among a lot of others. Yeah, you go to Forever 21 and steal stuff. No, not, well, yeah. Forever That's why you didn't get once. to meet Obama, because you are a thief. It's, I don't have a record. That's why I kept stealing. Trust me, there's having a record, and then there's what the Secret Service can find out. That's uh -huh. not true. They knew exactly what you had done, and they knew well, that you yeah, could not be around the president. They presented they you with the scrunchie. They were at that Urban Outfitters. Yeah. <laughs> Obama was like, where's the scrunchy thief? <laughs> scrunchy thief here? Where? The thief, this is the pickpocket. No, she couldn't be here. All right, okay. Jackie Secret Mason. Service. <laughs> Secret Service never. Oh, come on. That's Jackie Mason slash Barack Obama. It's both if you want. My guest today, hey, if you want impressions, this is not the place to tune in. No. Okay. My guest today, oh, that was Obama. 